Hello everyone. Now we are looking into an experiment called two wheeler chassis dynamometer. The aim of this uh, experiment is to determine the condition of the vehicle to conduct different test like performance test, acceleration test, the maximum speed test and different gear speed test, load test and finally the fuel consumption test the operators which is required to perform this experiment are we need to have one uh, two wheeler and a chassis dynamometer and a software along with your system to show the output so the introduction for a chassis dynamometer is very simple the chassis dynamometer is uh, also called as a rolling road a device used for vehicle testing and development it uses a roller assembly to simulate a roll in a controlled environment usually inside a building so the chassis dynamometer is an experiment to be conducted under uh, laboratory conditions inside a building <laughs> so if you see the constructional details it has got a uh, three main parts which consists of a roller a platform and additional frame you can see that in the diagram the below diagram the roller has two purposes first to receive the power that provided by the wheel and second to observe and to store this energy in form of angular velocity in order to achieve optimum condition roller inertia and roller rpm must be at the peak so for the safety purpose uh, not to get any not to get uh, any mechanical damages with respect to the equipment the roller rpm is restricted maximum to 5000 rpm so you can see this the diagram or the picture here where the two wheeler will be carried out on the frame where the front wheel is tightly clamped and the rear wheel of the vehicle should be on standing position with the roller now we'll be going to the working so the bike is kept on the test bench and the rear tire is kept on the roller as the vehicle is started and the first gear is engaged the rear wheel of the bike starts rotating and the roller also starts rotating a neon magnet is attached to the roller that is the Hall effect based sensor is placed near to the rotating roller so that it gets the pulse count from this count the rpm of the wheel is determined that is the roller rpm that can be determined after that the rpm is converted to kmph that is kilometer per hour to get the speed of the vehicle the time taken to reach 0 to 60 km per hour is displayed see this is uh, 0 to 60 is I have an, it's an example has been set uh, you can go like 0 to 40 or 0 to 50 or 0 to 80 or 0 to 100 like that it depends upon the testing person so this is done by starting the count from the first pulse achieved by uh, achieved during the start of roller rotation the fuel economy is calculated also calculated by giving a separate fuel tank in which a 100 ml or 1000 ml of fuel is filled and the distance covered using the fuel is displayed in the display torque at each gear also be calculated by using the equation p is equal to that is the power equals 2 pi nt by 60 where p equals power of the engine n equals speed in rpm and t is equal to 
torque in newton meter hello everyone now we are going to see the experiment which is called as two wheeler uh, chassis dynamometer this chassis dynamometer sometimes also called as a rolling road it is a device used for vehicle testing and development so it is basically done under uh, the lab conditions so it is a piece of uh, the test equipment fitted with rollers for the wheels of a vehicle that is capable of providing drive input and also to measure the output such as power and torque at the wheels now we have uh, placed uh, the vehicle uh, the two wheeler on the chassis dynamometer so you can see the standing over there you can see this part this is the rotating drum where once the wheel starts to rotate the brake i mean the drum starts to rotate as the drum rotates you can see the hall effect sensor this sensor senses the speed of the drum the rotating drum the front wheel of the bike is fixed properly so there should not be any disturbance and uh, there should not be any chances the vehicle to get fall so it has been tightened and clamped properly yes and uh, you can see one more cable the red cable uh, which is connected to the cable of spark plug where this will indicate the engine rpm okay so this will connected to the engine rpm that reading can be taken out and one more thing uh, reading as i said earlier the speed of the drum okay the speed of the drum by using the hall effect sensor and uh, these two are uh, the hall effect sensor connection and the spark plug connection that is the engine rpm these two will be given as input to the system okay that that will be seen in the software yes uh, this is what the digital display the dyno where it is connected to the system and that in that you can open the software you can see this this part the engine rpm and the roller rpm so once we start and uh, the vehicle starts the wheel will rotate and you can see the engine rpm and uh, you can see the roller rpm so now the vehicle has started and you can see the wheel is spinning the brake drum is spinning and that you can notice and you can notice here the rpm the engine rpm and the brake drum rpm okay, that is what the fluctuation you can see okay you can see that engine rpm and uh, the roll drum rpm okay so that that's what you can uh, notice that the engine rpm and uh, the wheel rpm or the roller drum rpm so this is a very important uh, experiment in a uh, lab condition to be performed in lab condition so this can be used for various vehicles as well even the four wheeler is also there where you can use the four wheel chassis dynamometer and so what we are using is a two wheel chassis dynamometer so this is used uh, the application of this is we can uh, notice the maximum speed in terms of gear ratios see for example for first gear how much the vehicle can go with respect to highest rpm or highest speed and uh, ultimately you can go for second gear and you can go for third gear and higher gears or lower gears where you can see the speed limit with respect to particular gear ratios gear ratios and one more thing uh, the care has to be taken care because this uh, the vehicle is going to be stationary and the engine what you are using is going to be the air cooled engines 
so there is no movement of the vehicle there will be a heating issue at that condition you need to uh, provide then additional amount of air for cooling purpose by using some air compressors and you can blow the air to the engine so that care has to be taken and uh, similarly as you as you can check the speed of uh, the vehicle with respect to different gear ratios you can also measure the fuel efficiency or the mileage with respect to other driving conditions so that is one of the main application of using the chassis dynamometer okay so this is what the experiment is okay okay thank you